cool inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your hosts, ACOS, the solutionist, and John Cremans, the doctor of shopology. Now, here's John and ACOS. And welcome. How are you doing this morning? It's My Cool Inventions, and I'm Acos the Solutionist, your host of My Cool Inventions. It's all about the Inventors Showdown, kids. Last week, we had an amazing Inventors Showdown. We were up at Evine. We had three inventors going toe-to-toe, going head-to-head to try to become a finalist for the finalist on the top inventor. And the winner of last week, we had Robert Diegas go up there. We had Chard Archibald go up there. Uh, and we had Melissa Nelson go up there. And the winner, Al, do you have that picture ready? We have Robert Diegas. He's the finalist with the strike plate lock. My goodness gracious, we love this guy. This guy is an ex-LA County Sheriff. Uh, and this guy, uh, you know, he got injured, but uh, he was bashing down doors and he couldn't stand the way the old chain locks work. So he invented a, bo- a lock that was much better. It's called the strike plate lock. It replaces all those chains. And my goodness gracious, people embraced them. They supported their uh, guys in blue. And let me tell you something, that guy is continuing to serve. I've even passed his retirement with a strike plate lock. Awesome guy. He's got five kids. He's a great inventor. And he has moved on. You guys voted him by buying. How it works on Evine is the these three inventors go on air, and you guys vote with your credit cards. You guys buy the product, and that gentleman right there had a huge amount of sales and became the finalist on the first week of Inventor Showdown. Congratulations, Robert Diegas. We're going to look forward to seeing him on April the 8th in the finals of the in Top Inventor. He might be crowned the Top Inventor. We're going to have four finalists on that show. And speaking of finalists, this weekend, on Sunday, we actually have the second show of Inventor Showdown. Am I goodness gracious, do we have a lineup of inventors for you? The first person is going to come up uh, that day is going to be Pam Turner. Now, this lady's a local girl up in Minnesota. She has invented a needle that you don't need to thread. It's incredible. You basically get the thread near the needle, and it automatically threads for you. It's absolutely crazy. Pam Turner's going to be up there. I met her at the Minnesota State Fair. She's been on the program. She's going up there to compete in week two of Inventor Showdown up at Evine. Contestant number two an old friend of ours from London, England. I'm meeting him this afternoon at the airport in Minnesota, uh, God willing, as long as the weather holds out for us. Peter Banks. This guy's a secret top mission guy. This guy, this guy's a handler. This guy's been a bodyguard. This guy runs secret service type security. He has secured the royal family. He has secured royal family buildings. This guy's the top-notch guy. Peter Banks, he's invented a security device called Plug and Safe Portable, and we're going to have him on the show. He's flying in from London. Peter Banks, old friend of ours, You've seen the plug-in, uh, safe plug-in. He's launching the portable on Evine Sunday morning, competing on Inventor Showdown. Third uh, contestant on next uh, Sunday's show is going to be Celeste Schiffner with the Nokomi Nail Buffer. You know, I met this young lady way years ago, and that's my wife. I fell in love with her and married her. And she, the first day, the first moment we ever met, she was actually buffing my nails at the Calgary home, uh, Calgary Stampede. Uh, she with this manual system. And one day, a few years ago, she was at a show with us, trade show in Hong Kong, and says, you know, I can, I can modify that invention, make it a lot better by making it an electronic version. And she's come up with an electronic nail buffing kit. And let me tell you about this nail buffing kit. After you buff your nails with this thing, you'll be touching, rubbing your nails because it shines for two weeks. It's absolutely incredible. You're going to love Celeste. I certainly do. And she's going to be presenting her Nokomi nail buffing shit. And she's got extra buffers and stuff. That's coming up 8 a.m. Sunday. Last contestant, Paul Harrington. Get this. That is the makeup artist. That was the makeup artist for Princess Diana. That's right. He's also coming from London, England. Paul Harrington is. And he's got an amazing product called Magnetome. It's going to revolutionize the way people put on and take off makeup. It's incredible. And that gentleman right there, world famous makeup artist, makeup artist to royal family, including Princess Diana. Those are four top contestants. Let me tell you, on week number two of Inventor Showdown, right up on Evine. Now, if you're watching, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Evine Network. It's awesome. If you want to see last week's show, I think we posted it on my cool inventions. It's up there for you to see the excitement of last week's show. I don't know if we can run the promo, Al. Can we run the promo for the Inventor Showdown? It's really super awesome there. Al's got it lined up for us, our producer, Al. And take a look at this promo because I'll tell you something. It's all about the invention. It's all about the innovation. You guys are amazing uh, You know because 
all the inventors who come on this program. They, I mean, they mortgage their houses. They do all this kind of stuff. And, you know, they really put themselves out on the line. So I want you guys to watch Inventors Showdown. I want you to vote on Inventors Showdown. And remember, this is the premiere. This is the uh, pilot season of Inventors Showdown. Uh, you know, God willing, we'll be able to uh, compete against Shark Tank one day. One of the networks might pick this program up, hopefully. And we'll, who knows? You might be seeing it on the, one of the big networks against uh, uh, Shark Tank. What I love about Inventors Showdown is that you guys vote. It has nothing to do with us at all. You guys decide who has the next $100 million product. You guys decide who has the next finalist for the Inventors Showdown finalist. And you guys purchase these products. Oh, Kelly McCord Brown says, how do we get products on here? Good question, Kelly. Here's what you do. You go to mycoolinventions.com. That's mycoolinventions.com. Hit the submit button and just answer the few questions. Put it in there. It will get you on this program. We'll filter those inventions. And then, of course, these products get shown to the buyers up there on Inventors Showdown and Evine, and they select the finalists. And we're looking for season two right now. We're looking for season two. So I want you to go to My Cool Inventions. Thanks, Al. There's the webpage right there. On the, right on the top, it says, click to submit your invention. Click that button right up there. And all you have to do is answer the questions that are up there. It doesn't cost anything. People always ask us, what does it cost? It doesn't cost anything whatsoever. So uh, you're welcome, Kelly McCord Brown. She's going to do that today. And I think everybody, you should always submit, get your product onto My Cool Inventions and carry on to Inventor Showdown. Uh, who knows? Maybe you have the next $100 million product. Speaking of $100 million products, we have an inventor for today like we do every day. Our guest today is Tonus Talisep. I hope I got that right, Tonus. Tonus Talisep with his invention, the InSync 4-in-1. Welcome to the program, Tonus. Hi, pleasure to be here. Tell everybody, what is an InSync 4-in-1? InSync 4-in-1, really, I developed to make my life easier in the kitchen. I was a stay-at-home dad, and I looked at why am I doing these things over and over again. There's food scraps in the bottom of my sink. I can't wash as I work as dishes are piling up. No one's helping me out, and it was just more of an endless chore, and I wanted to actually make my life easier. So it was an aha moment that, from, that, from that perspective. All right, so what I'm looking at on the video here, I'm watching the video, you have this sort of suction cup that goes on the inside of the stainless steel sink. You can do all your chopping and stuff, and it's a vessel that holds water. That's where you put your scrubbing device in, or drains out, I see. So do you have a choice of having it drain out or having it hold the water? What's the deal on that? So there's actually two vessels. So one has holes in the bottom, the other one does not. So the one without holes, I used to hold soapy water so I can continually wash. So if something's come off the stove or I've got something that needs to be cleaned, I can clean it right away, get it off the countertop and put it away so I'm not leaving things to the end of the meal. And the one with holes, I can use that as a colander as well. So I can use that to drain food scraps or to drain liquids if I'm storing kitchen utensils in there or I'm using food scraps, depending on what the application is. That's a pretty cool invention. I do a lot of work in the kitchen. I, I would love to have that in my place. You know what I do is I like to, I always say that washing dishes isn't a recovery program, it's a maintenance program. If you do a little bit of it as you go, uh, you know, you don't have such a big job at the end. And I think that little uh, vessel there with the soap in it, that's going to make my job. I like doing that sort of stuff, washing as I go. That's kind of right up my alley. And the other one with the colander, when I'm chopping up the vegetables and stuff, those, are, those look like pretty good inventions. Hey, here's what we're going to do, Tonus. I want you to put together your top. 60 seconds. I want you to give us your best pitch on the foreign, the in sync there. I want you to give you your best pitch and everybody listening, okay, I want you to vote, all right? So Tonus is going to get his, get his pitch together and after the pitch, I want you to all vote. I want you to go to mycoolinventions.com and hit the vote button. That's mycoolinventions.com. There's another button up there, vote. You can go thumbs up or you can go thumbs down. Already, uh, Tonus, you're getting uh, action. Joe Cup is saying, hey, Tonus, I'm getting this. Uh, <laughs> he likes Say all kinds. If you want to comment on Facebook, please, everybody just comment. Throw up your comments up there. I'll read them out live to you. So, Tonus, are you ready to give us your best 60 second pitch? I've been waiting a long time for this takeoff. Let's do it. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. InSync 4 and 1 was developed to make mine and hopefully your life easier in the kitchen. I got tired of fishing out food scraps from the bottom of the sink taking my cutting board to the garbage all the time, or not being able to wash as I work as dishes piled up, or having to drain the sink because the water was dirty. Any of these happen in your household? InSync 4-in-1 multitasks and solves all my problems, saving me time, water, while improving safety. It features the catcher, caddy, and cup, and you can have it all for just $19.99. When prepping food, use the catcher and caddy to contain all your food scraps. Make better use of your cutting board and keep your sink usable. The caddy can also be used as a colander or for storing utensils. The cup 
when filled with soapy water allows me to wash as I work without filling my sink. You'll always have soapy water available. Great for any household that has a sink and perfect for those with limited counter space. The dishwasher safe, FD approved, BPA free, 100% recyclable and made in North America. Make food prep, dishwashing and cleanup easy with InSync 4-in-1. Go to InSync.ca to order yours now with free shipping. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. That's right. Be our shark. Go vote right now. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Give this guy a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Your choice. Is this the next $100 million product? It's. I love it, actually. It's kind of an interesting concept. Um, uh, Tonus, I have a couple questions for you because you left out a couple things that I think are pretty important. Are you ready? You there? <laughs> Listen, don't do don't do an entire pitch, all right, ever without closing the deal. All right, here's the deal. I mean, you got an elevator pitch going. You got 60 seconds to do it. You know what you forgot to do? Close the deal, Tonus. How much are how much like, how much is the InSync four in one? 1999. All right, so I got the information. Still don't know how to close the deal. How much? Where where can I buy one? You can get it on my website at InSync.ca. And there, there you can find the avenues, depending on whether you're in Canada, U.S., or international, you can go to Amazon Canada, Amazon USA. There are certain stores in uh, Canada, like Home Hardware, which you, you're familiar with, that carry it as well. <laughs> I am Canadian. I am familiar with Home Hardware, Home of the Handyman, also Canadian Tire and all those other things. So InSync.ca or on Amazon for $19.99. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and speak with Tonus. In the meantime, everybody vote. Go to MyCoolInventions.com. Time, hit that vote button. Vote thumbs up or thumbs down. Or, you know what? Submit your product. Who knows? Maybe you can get on the program. Maybe you can get on Inventors Showcase up in Evi and get in front of 90 million homes and sell a few things or a few hundred thousand things. Stay tuned. My Cool Inventions continues. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and for years, I've been picking inventions to sell on TV. It's been wonderful, but sometimes the inventions are so good, they're hard to pick. So I thought, why not let you decide? With Evine's Inventors Showdown, we're letting inventors compete by presenting directly to you. You'll see their best ideas, all with the hope of making it to the final round where they could win their own spot on Evine. You'll be the first to see these exciting new creations, and your orders will decide the winner. So join me, Acos the Solutionist, for a show like no other, Evine's Inventor's Showdown. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out. You can do at StainsAreOut.com. Welcome back. You're tuned into My Cool Inventions here in Invention One Studio in St. Petersburg, Florida, home of the greatest inventions on earth. And let me tell you something. Uh, Tonus had a really good pitch. We just heard the four in one 60 second pitch. People are voting thumbs up and thumbs down right now by going to mycoolinventions.com. We got a couple questions for Tonus. Tonus, 1999, nsync.ca or amazon.com. I guess in Canada, United States. Got a question for you. You gave me a hint there that you're Canadian. Now, where do you live? In Toronto. In Toronto? Well, I'm an old uh, St. Michael's College boy. I, I went to the University of Toronto myself. I grew up in Hamilton, old steel town Hamilton there. Went to Cathedral there. Uh, so where, I know Toronto's a big place, but uh, do you live right in downtown Toronto, or do you live in the suburbs? Where do you live? Uh, midtown. Midtown. What do you do for a living when you're not inventing in sync foreign ones? Uh, my wife and I switch roles. I decided when we had kids to stay home, so I've been home for God bless you. That's an awesome, awesome thing. So how many kids do you have? I got two. You got two uh, kids. You're stay-at-home dad, consummate inventor. That's kind of cool. How long ago did you come up with the InSync 4-in-1? Probably about five years ago. It took me, uh, you know, the concept for me was I renovated the kitchen, came up with a single sink, and I said, how do, how do you wash and clean in a single sink? And why am I leaving things to the end of the meal? So part of 
started my old job was to do core process analysis, so I really looked at how to do things. Because, you know, coming to stay home with the kids doesn't come with a manual. And we found that <laughs> no two individuals in the same household washed or cleaned the same way, which was interesting. So well, we started streamlining that process. Well, if you ever find the manual for raising kids, let us know, because uh, nobody has a manual for that. Uh, so you got two pieces in the four-in-one in sync. I get it now. Um, so um, do you have inventory? for? I guess you must. You're on Amazon. Do you have inventory for sale? Yep. We got uh, so I've been doing a lot of, last year was a real first year. I, I started doing trade shows, so trade shows are really a lot of fun. Uh, positive feedback from the product, which is great from the customer standpoint. And, uh, yeah, so... Is available. Shouldn't you be at the National Home Show right now down there by the lake? Uh, you mean in Chicago? No, that, that's another one you should be at. That's the houseware show you should be at mm-hmm. coming on the weekend. But isn't the National Home Show in Toronto running right now? Um, I'm not aware of it. Oh, my goodness gracious. You should. There's hundreds of thousands of people visit that show. It's down by, do they still call it the Direct Energy Center? Or they renamed that thing since. Oh, the, the National Home Show. Yeah, that's coming up. I'm going to be actually at the Home Show in Barrie. I'll be at the Home Show in the fall, though. That's what I recommend to every single inventor. You got to get out to the Home Shows. You got to get your products in front of people. You got to get demonstrating because you get the feedback. You hone your pitch. You get to see what people like. You get to see what people don't like. Your presentation just gets better and better as you practice in a Home Show. It's like that book we always read about 10,000 times. Doing something 10,000 times makes you an expert. And if you're an inventor, get to a Home Show because you'll get quicker to the 10,000th pitch. And by the time you get to the 10,000th pitch, you get pretty good at it. So I always recommend inventors to go to these home shows. And the Barry Home Show, I've done that one myself. I've done the National Home Show probably 20 times. We used to have eight or nine booths in there. Uh, it was a big, big production for us. But, you know, you know, you could take out about a half a million dollars out of there. So it's always a good place to make money for the inventor, too. And it keeps the inventions going. It keeps the inventory flowing. It's always a good thing for the inventors to go down there. So let me ask you something, Tonus. Do you think that this product is a live shopping product? Very much so, because it is distracted. You can demonstrate, and I can show you. I've got a, a cutaway sink behind me. So you okay. can see the advantages. Sure, show me. The best part about it, that what I wanted to do was make sure, let me see if I get that to you. Is that a sink on wheels? <laughs> no, it's not a table, but I got one that I didn't make. The nice part about this, it is functional in that you can take it off. Right. So you can only use one part of it depending on what you're doing. Right. The nice part with, with the soapy cup one is you can take it anywhere in the kitchen. So if okay. you can clean the counter stovetop, the oven, it's always available. It goes on there. And this is nice because when the food scraps go in, I'll just use my hand, but you can see it. Uh, let me just get it on there. All it right. Go in there. I cool. see. I so, remove it. Right. Take it to the composter or garbage, and away you go. So the composter, we're going to have to tell all the Americans what that is. Up in Canada, all right, we have four different types of garbage. You guys have the garbage police out there in Oakville. We used to have garbage police that came by and gave us tickets for mis- mis- mishandling our garbage. Do you have that in Midtown Toronto? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the Americans don't understand that. We have four different things, right? We have to recycle, compost, do all kinds of crazy things. So, um, so, we're, so you're making these in America or Canada? Where are you making these right now? We're actually making them in Barrie. So I wanted to make everything within a 100-mile radius of, of where I live. Make them in Barrie. So Barrie, my goodness, must be a plastics form up there. What's your cost of goods on it? Cost of goods for wholesale is uh, $9.99. Sorry, $9.99. So ten bucks. So here's the deal. I mean, I, I know you, you evaded that question. So I'm sure, I'm assuming you don't want to answer that one. Then I don't blame you. It's a kind of a personal question for me to have asked. Can you put a configuration together that costs about one quarter of the retail price? It's I could if I go. Let me just pull this out of the way. I could if I go overseas in manufacturing. The difficulty is the nice part about it is it requires capital. So the more you produce, the lower your cost to serve. So, so you own the molds, or do you have I to make them. molds in China? So I have the three design patents. I have the utility patent in, in Canada and the U.S. I own the molds as well. All right, so here's the deal. Here's my recommendation to you. And I'm all for making things in Canada, and I'm all for making things in the United States. But if your cost of goods isn't four to one, you're going to be you're going to stutter out of the starting gate, all right? Like a shopping channel, let me give you a scenario. The shopping channels, a lot of shopping channels, and I'm going to think, like, I'm not going to point to one. For example, the one in your hometown, the shopping channel in Canada, over there in Mississauga, you know, when they see something for $19.99, they're going to want to buy that thing for between $8 and $9, all right? It's going to sound like $10, but by the time all the deductions come off there, 
there, you're going to be closer to nine dollars than you are to ten dollars. So they're going to want to buy it for nine dollars. Okay, unless you're willing to go to like I go to nine shopping channels around the world. Unless you're willing to go to everyone and develop the relationships to everyone, you're going to have to find a guy like me. And there's plenty of guys like me who's going to buy that product and resell it. And we have chickens to feed too. So you know we're going to have to make a little bit of money. And we're and we're looking for twenty, thirty percent also. So that's why I say if something's retailing for twenty bucks, that cost of goods better be around five dollars, or you're going to stutter out of the gate. And that also goes okay if you sell the home hardware. Okay, I get it. You can go to the home hardware show. I this, like I guess I guess they still have that in St. Jacobs, the home hardware show. You can go up there and meet a lot of their associates. They do, it, but yeah, again, you have to be invited. But yes, twice a year. I used to do that show all the time. But so if you could do it one by one by one by one, you, I guess you get to little, cobble together a few stores from home hardware. You can go to the same thing in Las Vegas, go down there and do the hardware show in Las Vegas, May 5 to May 7. You can probably cobble together some Ace Hardware stores to carry it for you, too. But that's not distribution. I mean, that won't amount to 10,000 units. you got to get this thing into the hundreds of thousands of units to get the cost of goods down. And I really do consider you should consider taking a look at some sourcing outside of Barrie, Ontario. Um, even some Americans... Pardon me? I do fall into your category of being a quarter. So, um, yeah. your scenario of $5, I'm in there. Okay. All right. Cool. So, if you can do that, even I'd help you out because I think this is a live shopping product. I think it belongs in the kitchen. We maybe we get the endorsement of somebody like Paula Dean. Paula Dean would be perfect for this, or Todd English, or any number of the uh, uh, chefs that we know and work with that endorse this. Or we could put this on Inventor Showdown, get it started there. For that, we're going to need a couple thousand units, and uh, you need to come down to Minnesota and go on Air TV Live. And if you're interested in doing that, we'll present this provided you have a big thumbs up vote. So get everybody, friends and family, to get your thumbs up vote. If you like the four in one sync, go to mycoolinventions.com right now and vote for this guy. Give him a big thumbs up or thumbs down. That's how we do things here. We filter the invention through this platform and then we take it up to Inventor Showdown up at Evine. Round two submissions are being submitted right now. And uh, this is a good one. I think this actually stands a chance. It's very demonstrable. It solves problems. I like products like that. I love the kitchen. The kitchen's a great place to sell stuff. Lots of kitchen gadgets I've been involved with, and this is a cool little kitchen gadget. Tonus, thank you for being on the program. That's an awesome product. And uh, good luck up in Toronto. I hope it's not snowing right now. No, it's uh, green overcast. And you're probably, you're probably a Leaf fan, too, aren't you? Um, I'm sorry to say no. Oh, good, because, you know, the Leaf fans, like my father, they've been waiting since 1960 to win a championship, and I remember that. No, 1967, I believe, with Bobby Bond and was, Keon and Mahovlich, all those guys, Johnny Bowernet. when they did win, so uh, I'm not that era. I actually remember that game. You know, Bobby Bond played that game with a broken leg. I, I remember that game as a seven-year-old, and that's the last time Toronto people have had any championships in hockey. So good luck to you guys. Good luck, Tonus, on your invention, and everybody vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com right now. Go there right now. Vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Put your comments on Facebook, like our Facebook page, and if you're an inventor, and if you haven't submitted yet, and I don't know what you're waiting for, go to mycoolinventions.com and submit. Who knows? Maybe you have the next $100 million idea. Hi, I'm ACOS the Solutionist, and for years I've been picking inventions to sell on TV. It's been wonderful, but sometimes the inventions are so good, they're hard to pick. So I thought, why not let you decide? With Evine's Inventor Showdown, we're letting inventors compete by presenting directly to you. You'll see their best ideas, all with the hope of making it to the final round where they could win their own spot on Evine. You'll be the first to see these exciting new creations, and your order will decide the winner. So join me, Acosta Solutionist, for a show like no other, Evine's Inventor Showdown.